What is up, YouTube and the We Want Funko Army? It is yours truly, the life of the party, the party monster. You guys are watching We Want Funko, the channel that puts the fun back in Funko. So guys, I am really excited for today's video because it's me doing part two of my ECCC 2020 pickups. And I just got the box a couple of days ago, but due to what's going on right now, I had to let the box sit outside for a couple of days, air dry, do what I had to do, but... And I'll show you guys what I picked up. There's actually, I think, four pickups that came from the Funko shop and everything. I'm super excited. Like, I really dig the fact that they had, did the um thing where you can actually get all of the shared exclusives from the website as opposed to having to drive all around the area to all the different stores, the Hot Topics, Targets, GameStops, box lunches, and yeah. So I got primarily all the ones that I wanted. There's like one or two here and there that I couldn't get, but it is what it is. Not that big a deal. But anyway, I'm going to go get the box real quick, unbox it, and show you guys what I picked up. Okay, guys. So off camera, I opened up the box, and weirdly enough, I ordered four pops, and two of them came in other boxes, and two of them are just bubble wrapped, which is kind of weird. Usually, they just send all four in a um, smaller box and everything, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys the first two real quick. And I gotta, gotta say, say that if you saw my last video, you guys saw what happened with one of the unboxings. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you guys check out that video. But that's another video. But anyway, hopefully things are better than this one. So kicking things off, we have my first pickup, which is the uh, He-Man Slime Edition, which is super cool. And that's pretty dope. They actually have the... um. Comic Con exclusive sticker on it. So, so far, I'm pretty psyched. Like, the box is in really good condition. And this is actually the GameStop, I think, exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was the GameStop one. I'm, I might be wrong. Let me know in the comment section if I okay, am. Okay, guys. So, moving right along, we have one of my favorite pickups Thanos, the Mad Titan himself. Of course, you guys know I do have a 10-inch Thanos in my room, which is one of my prized pop possessions. Like, I really love that pop. It's, like, the one that I have looking over my entire room right now. So, definitely had to pick up this one. I think it's dope that they have the arm off, which is definitely one of the coolest scenes of that movie. I don't know spoilers. I mean, it's been, like, three years. You probably should have seen it already. But it is what it is. And it also has the um, exclusive sticker on it. So, that's dope. However... That day that these all released, I actually went to my local GameStop, didn't see it, but went to another GameStop like 10 minutes out of the way, and they had tons of them. So, a little bit bummed, I could have had this one earlier, but it is what it is. It's here now, and it has the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive sticker, and this was actually the shared pop with GameStop, which I meant to say with the He-Man pop, but whatever. It's the shared pop. It is what it is. Definitely love it. Okay, next up we have a pop that, if you guys know my love of classic heroes and villains, you guys know I was going to pick this one up. So, it shouldn't be too big of a shocker, but again, I was really overconfident last time I did an unboxing and it was the wrong pop. So, let me just have a moment of humility first before, oh, okay, first it is the right pop. So, we're, we're good. We're good. Anyway, we have classic Toad from X-Men. Super dope pop, which I could have got Gambit as well, but this is what it is. Toad was definitely a cool one, and yeah. Okay, guys, so I saved the biggest one for last, literally and figuratively. Again, if you guys saw my last video, I got really excited because I was like, hey, I finally have this particular style of pop, and I was disappointed at the end, but this is what it is. Someday, I would have him, and today is that day, so let me just unbox this real quick. I mean, you guys should kind of already know what it is by the shape of the box. And this is probably the pop I wanted the most that day, for whatever reason. And I think they even still have it on the website now, so if you like this one, you can still get it. And of course, it is Freddy Funko and the Funko Headquarters. I have no idea who came up with this one, but it's super chill. Like, I love this, like, pop. Like, check it out. Like, this is, this is crazy. But, yeah, I'm glad I have it in my collection now. I finally have a Freddy Funko, and I couldn't be happier. 
Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for my Emerald City Comic Con 2020 pickups part two, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Definitely share with a friend, and if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. You guys can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at WeWantFunko. And until next week, remember, party on. Peace.